All right, guys, top two. You want to get a picture? Who wants to get a picture real quick? Yeah, picture handshake. Oh, sorry. So we'll just hold it there, I guess. <laughs> All right, smile, Alex. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good luck. Start playing. All righty. Uh, first tarot card, Nine of Swords. Um, we'll generate a smoke marker. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we'll go right here. Uh, sorry, Blackheart will choose uh, Spider-Man. Blackheart will choose Spider-Man. Yep. Tithon goes there. I think that's all the beginning of oh, yeah. certain stuff. Oh, yeah. will choose a wild card. Okay, yeah. So wild card and wild card. Cool. Um, no willpowers or anything like that, so let's just start punching stuff. <laughs> Charge Quakes right here. We'll break all that. Uh, yeah, Charge Quakes right here. We'll break all that. Um, I'll, just put it, I'll just put it there for now. I don't want to waste too much time. Arachnite, this is all wall back here, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna uh, actually not the one behind that five space behind them is open. Right? Okay, that's fine. Um, I think. Yeah, you're right. So I told uh, that was that's my fault. Um, so we'll charge. We'll charge punch with Elsa right here. That fella, mm -hmm. break that. The three markers. Right. Uh, when he quakes, right? Yeah. So he, so he would generate a terrain. Yeah, he would generate terrain. That's right. That is right. Yeah. So we'll go right there. Yep. That'll generate this fella, this guy, right here. Arachnite will charge and punch. He'll take a damage for that. Ow. We'll do that. So it's one action, it's two actions, it's three actions. Sorry. What? Uh, twisted Metal, because he broke it. Um... Sorry, that's how it was. We'll sidestep up one, two. Go to this elevation. We'll perplex up defense on Kong. We will perplex up Elsa's defense. And then um, we'll just shoot punch this, or uh, shoot with uh, Doom Supreme. And we'll shoot uh, this fellow right here. Yep. I'll put all the debris markers if there is any more applicable. It's right there. So that puts Amit's tomb up to seven. Mm -hmm. And then we will swap out to the Inquisitor. We'll perplex up Elsa's defense. Uh, White Shirt Porter will choose Spider-Man team ability. Um, and then Arachnite will choose Hypersonic. Cool. Go for it. All right. Flip. Also deals to every single game. That's the first card. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any of that as much as I really, really want to. Um, we're gonna place a smoke. I'm going to place it. He goes here. Him down there. These go right here, both. And then right here. He hmm. goes here. Put him down there. Here, here, there. And then he goes for Pepper. If he can actually move someone. Keep blocking there. I think we're going to put it down there because then he can be carried. He can sidestep. Uh, and Mern. Oh, Mern goes here. Gotta put it there. Or no, I can just put it where I'm gonna go. Blackheart. Mern moves to there. 
quarter makes a thing. No, I don't want to give your tongue to action, so I won't even make a thing. Okay. I'm going to put it down right there. Okay. I'm going to charge quick. Carrying black skull. Okay. To there. Here, here, Mern there, Mern move, key charge quick. That's one, two, three. And I can even do a destroy with black arc up to five. That seems cool. Wait. Mm, he's not gonna quake actually. He's just gonna punch okay. this wall there. Uh, this goes up to two. You're going to poof with black art. Yep. To here. With Mern and Porter. Like that. Perplex up Mern's range. Uh, move Mern. Perplex up Mern's range. Sidestep. Uh, charge this Kong. Oh. Yep. Float this. Go up to four. Uh, switching to Killmonger. Yeah. And, and so you charge, punch, charge, punch. You need Quake, right? No Quakes. So. Okay. Just double check. Yep. And I think that's all I'm going to do. One, two, three. I don't need black cards to blow something up. Uh, yeah, that's it. OK. All good? Yep. All right. Queen of Wands. Really nice for you. Uh, OK, so let's roll willpowers real quick. Um, Arachnid has a, an action token. I apologize. So Kong, uh, got it. Arachnid. Uh, uh, Arachnid's got willpower still, so missed it. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, we'll free heal up Arachnid. Yep. With Blackheart, uh, we'll drop oh, a... Uh, sorry, she should be down a click from Jathon, right? No, Jathon's oh, a Blackheart. Oh, Blackheart, yeah. sorry. Um, so we're on one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to go right here. Okay, so... One, two, three, four. So I can make it. I can quake one, two, uh, from a straight line. One, two, three. Correct. Uh, he can't see through both columns. Gotcha. Okay. So I'd be attacking both uh, both Kongs and Mern. Yep. And which one has Conchu on it? Neither. I don't have Conchu. You don't have Conchu. So your prob is. Uh, white one prop here and, and one community. Okay. okay. And Mern's range is what? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, well, let's go for it. All right. This is the fun part, right? Yeah. All righty. So, I think so, right? Side step. It's come on, roll out to 50 50. Uh, it would be two thirds. Two thirds, that's right. So, I, don't, I really don't want to do that. So, just in case, 
something happens with Mern. We will perplex up defense here. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, I can't see there. We'll go one, two to right here with Scott Porter on a sidestep. We'll perplex up Iraq Knight's defense as well. Yep. Uh, we will boof to right here, and we'll carry uh, Mr. Kong and Mr. Iraq Knight. Iraq Knight's still on hypersonic. On his hypersonic. Yep, just making sure. Yep. And he, yep, his token goes with him. Yep. One, one, two, three, four, five. Dual target. Eleven on nineteens. Eleven on nineteen plus whatever they are. So that feels really that feels really bad, but I don't think there's any other thing I can do. I think maybe Kong quaking might be the no because I can't sit. I Kong can't be in the square after I hypersonic. So I'm gonna go like one, two right here. Um, currently don't have any outwits, so I can't see Killmonger. But that's been established, correct? All right, cool. All right, let's go for it. Whatever, sir. Sure. Hypersonic with uh, Arachnite. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll go forward right here, and we will dual target Murning Kong. Yep, eleven on nineteen and twenty. That misses. We'll uh, prob it with the rack knight. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, we'll finish up the hypersonic. Uh, we will go one. We'll just go here. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. So I can do the full reach right there. Um, the question is, do I want to try and punch, or do I want to try and attack, or uh, quake? So, I think I want to quake. So we'll go, yeah, because Amit's Tomb is fully funded, so, or will be fully funded after this. So we'll go here and we'll quake. Yep. Um, a whole bunch of numbers. Oh, sorry, before, yeah, actually. You know, I can't see you. So quick, 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 quick. Yep. Quick. Uh, this is quick. Yep. Uh, no one under him. Oh, yeah, there's more. There's way more. Yep, and this one will break as well. Um, we'll just, I'll roll it. We'll put it afterwards. For sure. Uh, 12 on numbers. Yep. So I hit... No one? 19s. Yeah. Uh, 20 and 21. 21. Okay. Kong will uh, conch you prob it. Yep. Okay. That will potentially hit. Uh, this is your second action. I'm not getting anyone else over here. So yeah, no reason not to community that. Okay. Still hits? Yep. Uh, yeah, roll your impervious. Uh, imperv, no Kong Kong. Nope. Imperv, other Kong. Nope. So they'll take four yep. with the debris? One, two. One, two. And then Mern will take four. One, two, three, four. All right, so I have two more actions. And uh, you generate a marker. And I generate a marker, yep. So we will generate... Okay, so I'm right here, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll generate a terrain marker. I can't go on debris, right? Right. That's nutty. Uh, not with the blocking. Hindering can go on debris. Hindering can go on hindering. And I can block transition squares, finally. So I think... I think we do that. Um, I have one more action, so we'll go one. I have to do the walk of shame if I do that. So we'll sidestep one, two. Uh, he already sidestepped. 
Um, also, we'll go one, two, three, four, five right here. On a move action. Yeah. Uh, sorry, this wouldn't be a legal placement. We didn't finish placing three. That was destroyed. Oh. oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, so, five more marks. Legal department. Okay, so we'll go. We'll just go right here then. Sure. Is there a wall up there? No. So does, yeah, as long as that one doesn't break, right? All right. Uh, uh, Arachnite will switch to uh, shape change for its worth. So yep. I think that's everything. Inquisitor will clear. We'll perplex up Scott Porter's defense. Oh, no. I, yeah, perplex up Scott Porter's defense. Give him prob. Yep. Go for it. So who is... These guys are each up by one. I like this Mern. But... Yeah, so technically they're perplexed up. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, flip card. Will power plus one. Let's go. Will power this Kong. Oh, he's doing this one. Got it. Will power real Kong. <laughs> real Kong. Yeah. Well, I'm out of, yeah, that, I mean, you, yeah. you have to crit miss or whatever. You call it. <laughs> um, I'm off leadership. Nope. I have a free heal. Which, when used on Mern. Does not get me the leadership. Aha. Use it on a Kong. How much do I care about doing that? It stays in 11. I'd want a Quake. Do it. So, what are my actions here? Four. There's some more. Put them down. <laughs> we want to pulse save, we want to fake, we want to fake. Who do you want to heal? Right, this comes down. I think we want to heal up. Fully funded it. Kong? Yeah, I'll heal up a Kong. Not this one. Maybe this one? Gosh, this is tricky. Um, you got it. One, two, three. Put some here. There is a wall there. Yeah. When I quake, it'll go away. Yeah, that's yeah. One, two, three, put in there. Um, we'll swave for get a 12. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many walls on this map. I apologize. Impulse says we need at least a six. And we'd have... Actually, we could do it from over here. One, two, three, four. So we'd get a perplex. I'd want to quake first. So my actions would be one. Two, and then probably three here. So that means I'd want to heal up two. Seems like he's just swinging or something. So I'll heal up this Kong one. Okay. And we'll put a smoke to um I mean there's hindering where everywhere where we want to go. Mm -hmm. So we'll put it under arachnite. Okay. Maybe if I somehow don't take him out, it'll do one extra later. Yeah. One, one, two, three. Here you can still monitor to there. One, two, three. Here you can still monitor to there. And then. We click that. Pulse wave here. We get 13. Yeah. 
Now, this first quake doesn't matter all too much. Uh, that attack would deal. How much did Black Bear? Kong Charge Quake carrying Gilmonger. Okay. Uh, one, two. So break this fella, mm -hmm. break that fella, and then a whole bunch of debris markers. So all this is all broken. I'm going to try and separate it just so I know the elevated's there. Yep. Oh. And we'll just, that wall's, that wall's broken too. So you're right here, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, here. Right there. Okay, cool. Attacking both. Uh, uh, yeah, it's okay. waking. Yeah. Twelve's on numbers. Seven is both. Okay. Um, so you have the second Kong coming in. Do I prop this? It's a 12 on 18, so you have to a 6 or higher for him, 7 or higher for him. Mm -hmm. We'll prop it. Go ahead. Yeah. With a, a rack 9, sorry. Yeah. Okay, we'll save that. Uh, we'll roll Super Senses on Arachnite. Got it? Yep. Uh, impervious Kong. Um, that'll do two damage, right? Uh, just one. I'm not at six yet. This will bring me to six. Okay, so we'll take that. Okay. Those are six. Uh, both quarters will perplex up. This quarter's attack to a 13. Let's poof Blackheart to here with him. One, two, three, four. We'll take two season three. We'll take two. Okay. Let's pulse wave. One, two, three, four. Pulse wave quarter. Thirteens right. on nineteens at the highest. Yep. Small. So one, two. One, two. Uh, and one, one and knock back there. One, two, three. Oh, it'll be diagonal. Diagonal. And he'll take one knock back damage. Oh, that's right. Pulse wave. Forgot about that. We're going to switch. Killmonger to Ghost Goblin and poison him for two. Yep. No key strikes. Arrows are on Elsa. Awesome. Sorry, I'll do this. Peace strikes at all. Um, here. Actually. One, two, three, four. Two, four. Two, three. Being 11 on high numbers. He's not next to degree. Next to do two to him, he takes one. And two to him. No, two to him and one to him. Although he's not next to degree. Um, let's go. Doesn't shoot out of adjacency, we'd have to shoot. One, two, three, four. Uh, 
Let's break sidestep with Porter. Okay. Got it. Over there. Oh, is this a wall? That's that is a wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a J. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a. Mm -hmm. There's a wall that's still intact. Gotcha. Cool. This is broken. Can't go here. So how many actions have you taken? Just two, right? Uh, just two. But I have no leadership. Yeah, that's us. Making, just making sure. Yep. Three, four, five. What's debris there? Uh, but that doesn't do anything. Okay. So we want to range up from here. Plucks up my attack with Ghost Goblin. Okay. Uh, it's, it's weird. Not bad. It's called Police TA with Porter. Okay. We go one, two, one, two, three. Oh, as soon as you've blocked yourself off a little bit. Here. It's indoor, so you'd have to go around. Yeah. Uh, you might be just side steps one, two. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Yeah. So, plug some attack. Running shot. 12. Double target. Uh, here and here. Okay. Oh, you're completely right. Yes. I can't do any of that. Uh, in that case, I'll just have... Let's do some Kong on Kong action. All right. Sounds good. Twelve on eighteen, right? Uh, uh, but, yeah. Yeah, I don't have anything else. So impervious. Yep. Miss it. I'll re-roll it with Scotty P. Yep. Yep. That. Yeah. That might be it. We'll see. Yeah. Ghost Goblin perplexes up his defense. I uh, use my other two perplexes. Uh, he wants to stay back here, and that's my three. All right. We'll flip. Hanged man? Would you like to hang somebody? Um, five goes to six. Or you would pick first. Yeah, I'd pick first. Uh, I will not, though. All right, I'll, I'll do the same. I'm not going to choose anything. Um, I don't have any willpower, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, we will free heal up Blackheart, though. Mm -hmm. He'll make a square. We'll go. We'll boof to right here. Um. So is there any way you can get Mern up here? You could black heart to flex up range. Uh, we'll perplex up. Uh, we'll sidestep. We'll sidestep. Well, sorry. We'll perplex up Elsa's defense. Mm -hmm. We'll sidestep one. Uh, Inquisitor will perplex up Elsa's defense, giving her prob. What's Ghost Goblin looking like right now? Eighteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 19 because of him. So he perplexed his defense. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Six. And then this wall is right here, so I couldn't sidestep up one, right? So uh, you could. It's two different elevators. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, let's do it. Um, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Sidestep. Ooh. How's Porter getting up there? I don't think I can. Okay. Because I was gonna perplex. I was go. I was gonna go up here. It's not adjacent, so that I could sidestep up in elevation. Yeah. But 
unfortunately, oh no, I can do that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, sidestep up to right here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that on an action. Mm -hmm. I will drop a chainsaw and we'll go for the ghosty. Yeah. Yeah. Here, uh, just use this. Okay. Uh, so 10 on 18? Uh, 19. 10 on 19? Uh, he's perplexed up in quarter. Oh, he punched up his defense. 10 on 19. All right. So uh, I can see with no probs. I have one community. And we'll flurry plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I'll use my community on that. Okay. So, and I don't have line of fire to this, correct? So, we'll just do the second flurry. Mm -hmm. That'll hit. Yep. And we will chainsaw for... Enough. For six. Yep. And then I score one point. Ah! I dropped my dice. Yep. I think we'll just move up to here with Inquisitor. That's one action, that's two action, that's three actions right here. Uh, and then we'll pass turn. It'll kill the chainsaw into the smoke. Uh, when I quaked, the smoke would have turned to debris. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, yeah, you're good. Okay. So, right, does quake turn smoke into debris? Okay. I'm going to just do the rest of my beginning of the turn. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Reflex plus two. Willpower. Uh, no. Willpower. The other con. Okay. In that case, it would go away and it would kill chainsaw. So it would go away? Yeah. Uh, I missed both my willpowers. It's fine. Pulse wave. One C Porter. That's a. Okay. Uh, Oh, clear Elsa. Yep. Put the smoke there. Six. There. Like to reflex up in its attack. I don't think. I could just. There's the first. One, two, three, two. Take two. Uh, you need a turn. I will heal up this Kong one. Two yeah. back to full. Yeah, I think we're just going to do some pulse waves. Yeah. One, two, and three. Uh, let's start with this Kong. Just charge. Over to here, carrying Mern. Okay. Uh, punching border. Okay. At 18. Yep. Got it. Okay. And it's not on elevated, correct? Uh, so no. So it's not penetrating? Right. Okay. Super Sense is only on a six with uh, Spider Man? Yep. Okay. So I'll take. Let's take three and then the and knockback. knockback. Okay. Or actually, I'm going to choose to not do knockback. So one, I'd rather get the two, 10 extra points on the full save. Okay. So he'd be on last? Yep, he's on last. Or sorry. So he does three. It's three, but it's not penetrating. It's four because of debris, right? So yes, he's on last click now. Sidestep. Uh, double flex up Porter's attack. Blackheart, poof. Two here with Porter. Yep. Or sorry, it would be a trouble for flex because 10 of bonds. So yeah. he's up to a 14. Uh, let's put him down. Here still works because you can see Blackheart through the walls. Yeah. You can see him. One, two, three, get knocked back. One, two, three. She wouldn't get knocked back, though. So we need to put him here. One, two, three, four. Use your community roll. I think I'm okay with that. One, two, three, four. That hits my Mern, so I can't see any stuff. Yeah, let's just put him here and not hit Inquisitor. So where's, uh, oh, side, okay, cool. And Pulse Wave, 14's on numbers. Yep, a lot of numbers. 
Okay. Six. It's everybody. So, one, two. Knockback dies, right? Mm -hmm. uh, drops the trick arrows to right here. Uh, not hitting Inquisitor. Not hitting Inquisitor. So, knockback. One, two. Knockback to here. Uh, actually, he's too far away to take a knockback click, right? One, two, three. Yeah, okay. So, he goes on last click. Yeah. And it would take out him as well. Oh, yeah. Because of Mern. Mm -hmm. Uh, not with Gavin. Nope, I'm not even at eight. Okay, well, that wasn't worth it. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're just going to shoot Blackheart with Blackheart. All right. I'd be at 12 on in 17. 17, 18. Mern gives plus two because of the blocking thingy. Yes, or plus one, correct. so it'd be a Cathan. It'd be a 19? It'd be a 19, and then you're shooting through hindering, so a 20. Yeah. Uh, maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can't get him in a pulse wave. Kong's too far away to do anything with him. Oh, wait, does. Make boot boot moves here and just knocks him back for one. Okay. Okay, so do I want to do Cathan? <laughs> because why not? Let's do it. <laughs> so you're done. I'm done. You're done? Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Awesome. So it's the end of my next turn, correct? Oh, shoot, it is. Maybe that was a bad idea. Oh, well. I already said it. I, you can not if you want. Yeah. At the end of your next turn, you lose the game. Cool. No, it's fine. No. Let's just do it. I don't think I'm getting much anyway, so I might as well just get some points. All right. Uh, no willpowers or anything like that. Uh, let's have Iron Inquisitor perplex up Cathan's range. Yeah. We'll go one, two, three, four to right here. One, two, three, four to right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. So I'm hitting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm hitting everybody except for, I'm not hitting Mern. Well, he always triple target, right? I am triple target. Yeah, I'm just double. Yeah. So let's, uh, so let's do it. So I perplexed up range. So we got prob. So we'll do it, target one, two, and then we'll target three. Sure. So, 12 on numbers. Yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, range. That's right. Okay, so hits 19s. Mm. So, it, hits, it does hit Kong. And it uh, hits, hits he's through hindering, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's a giant. Yep. Okay. He doesn't have stealth, right? Correct. Okay. He does see through hindering. And he destroys blocking as well. Yeah. Um, distribute. So I have five damage. That you do. Uh, so Blackheart will take four straight and die. Mm -hmm. So we'll take we'll do three to him. And are you not next to debris? So four. Yep. And then if I do one to Kong, it doesn't even do anything. So we'll just do the other one to Scott Porter. I'll take a Mystic's click from my Blackheart. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> he doesn't have anything funky, right? Where he uh, doesn't get two attacks. Cool. Uh, so Inquisitor hasn't done anything, correct? Right. So I do have this. I do have the swap prob, right? So we'll sidestep down one right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get points. <laughs> we'll swap here. Uh, we'll go Killmonger. Um. That's that. So, Kanchu is gone. Yeah. Kanchu? Oh, Construct. Oh, that's Porter's. Yeah, it's his. I don't, the only way I kill, kill him is if I do knockback. All right, so we'll perplex up attack. We'll go one, two to right here. And we'll just go for the knockback. Is there? So 11 on a 17. Mm -hmm. Okay, that hits. Hold on. Yep. I'll community token it. For sure. Go for the knockback. 
Thank you. Good game, man. Good game. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Alpha Strike. I'm here with Alec Muster. Now, Alec, congratulations on an incredible weekend. It's I can't emphasize enough on the amount of quality of players you had to go through to get up to this point. Just to name a few, Manny Kings, uh, Lucas Van Hollen, Dan Powell, absolute legends of the game, and yet here you are with a smile on your face because <laughs> you should and you definitely deserve it because you just played one of the most professional uh, strategical players in Isaac, um, and yet you had a smile throughout the whole game. The final, which you guys can watch on the Alpha Strike soon, um, towards the last turn, you did something really, really awesome, and your sportsmanship was great. Um, so, first of all, before we even talk about talking the game, thank you for being part of the HeroQuest community. Oh, it means a lot to have people pleasure. like you. Yeah, my pleasure. So, let's talk to you about your team. So, Arachnite is a not a sleeper pick anymore. He does definitely deserves the praise that he gets. Um, but building the team, uh, why Arachnite? Uh, what convinced you? What looked at that guy? So, in all my builds so far, I never had Arachnite leave the team. I always oh. knew that as long as Arachnite was legal, I would be playing Arachnite. Why? I just think he's the coolest version of Spider-Man in the world. So, it's more of a personal pick. Agreed. Now, forming that, I was talking to so many people in general, um, you know, Daniel Powell, Lucas Van Hollen. I was asking the people in my locals as well at uh, Kahana, Kahan's Americana. Shout out. Shout out to them. And I was just like, how, okay, so what's the best way to make this work? And we settled on Kong, obviously. I didn't really want to run Kong because everyone else was running Kong. Uh, I think my, my original version of the team had, which was Alex Mater's version, which had Ghost Rider on it with Khonshu on Ghost Ooh, Rider. Okay. And... Because it, cause it gives you, a, if Kong attacks, you can still use shape change and stuff exactly. like that, which I do genuinely like. 100%. So, but anyways, so that's so I knew Arachnite going into it with Precision Strike and Trick Arrows is really nice, but I didn't want to always have him with Trick Arrows yes. because Killmonger yes. is yes. such a nuisance. Yes. It just wrecks yes. Arachnite. So, so then after uh, watching Daniel Powell's team play um, uh, for Origin, uh, not Origins, for... Uh, the, the midwife, the Midwest okay. showdown. Oh yes, he was playing double Kong Madison, okay. and with uh, Amma and Kanshu. Yes, right. So, so I said, okay, there's 60 points there that I could take off and put a Rack Knight in, and I think there was a blue ring that he was running too on uh, Blackheart. I said, so if I take that off, I have 30 points left over. He was running Madison. I said, what about Elsa Prime? So I said, so Elsa comes free with the trick arrows, and he can, yes. if she needs to, she can switch him off to a Rack Knight. Yes. So that that's kind of where that's where the team and then obviously Scott Porter's and then playing with uh, Emilio, he got top sixteen, super great player. Um, him and the checkmate crew, I also had a lot of input on the team as well. And so Emilio kept on playing Hawkeye and Hawkeye. He kept on wrecking me because he has a Star Brand okay. Hawkeye duo, and he can one turn a Kong easy, very easily, regardless if I hit because he's doing precision strike. Right. So one thing that I decided was like, okay, so with that extra 50 points, I could run two Kongs or I could run MOE chases. Fair enough. Because Killmonger is a nuisance, so I was like, well, why do I just use him? Exactly. That also gives me my leadership. Yes. Um, and that also gives me Inquisitor, Prob, a second Perplex and a Prob, a third Prob as well. So a third, sorry, third Perplex and third Prob because when he perplexes, he gets Prob. And so, yeah, that's kind of what the team conceptualized. Sorry. That no, was you're very good. No, you're, no, you're fine. You're fine. I love the, the, the details. Now, into the game, I'll have a quick question. But so, walk me through this, this turn of yours. So, you're, I believe, it's the second turn. You get the out, you try the Alpha Strike with the uh, Arachnite on Hypersonic into Mern yep. that is uh, surrounded by two Kongs. Yep. How important was hitting that? And it may have changed the game uh, at, the end of the, of the, at the end of the day. Yeah. So, they were all, not all of them, but I think the both of those Kongs were next to Debris. Yes. So dealing one, deal. I mean, I could have dealt one to them and that's fine, um, which is great. But really it was Mern. So Mern, Mern is one of the biggest banes to my teams 
And that's it's just really brutal to try and deal with them. And I knew that regardless, I'd have to deal with them. And uh, arachnite hypersonicing and doing a ranged attack, yes. it becomes instead of an 11 on a 21, becomes an 11 on a 19. Yes. So because of the, they all share a keyword. Exactly. So I was like, okay, so I have I have two probs on this. I think this is really important, and uh, I think I, I think he didn't probably no he didn't he didn't have any problems on it. So right. hitting that would have been really good because that would have turned Mern down and would have been really detrimental for me hitting with Kong up next. Absolutely. So that was so it was critical. Yeah. It was so it was very critical. Nice I think about it now. I'm like, do I play a more defensive game next time? But it is what it is. The map also is. Uh, you have mentioned this over the weekend that the, the map of uh, Brock Bunker is yeah. also very, um, very more lofty to say the least. Very annoying. Very annoying. <laughs> very annoying. It's a good. It's a good defensive map. Yes. I will say that it's just a. Sm it's a smaller version of Morlock Tunnel that's actually harder to yes, navigate. Exactly. Even more complex. But um, it's not impossible because you can still get up there and attack people. But. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, so that's yes, nice. that's that, nice. that was my second time playing on that map also, so yes, I don't well. have any access to that map, <laughs> but anyways. Well, Alec, I appreciate this uh, interview. Uh, once again, congratulations. And also catch Alec on HeroClicks USA, both on Facebook and YouTube, uh, for team building ideas, for gameplay, for great editing, first of all, <laughs> and foremost, and better than I did, than, than, than I have, but uh Congratulations, Alec. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You did great this weekend. Alpha Strike making the great coverage as well. So make sure, I, obviously, if you're watching this, you're probably subscribed. But if you're not, make sure you check. Make sure you ding the little bell as well. I praise. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the last day of Gen Con. We just wrapped up the final, and I'm here with our new national champion, Isaac. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm elated. That was an excellent final game. An excellent finish off to uh, me and Alex three game run this weekend. Absolutely. So walk me through that game. There was a very critical moment in that second turn. Alex did a, a tried an alpha strike. You had put Mern in front of two cons, and Alex had one shot. It was with a rack knight with hypersonic speed. I believe it was a, a twelve. I'm sorry, eleven on a eighteen. Uh, 20s and 21s. Cause. That's right, cause he, exactly. And he missed the shot. He probably with a rack knight and also missed it. How critical was that moment in keeping Mern alive for the rest of the game? Well, regardless, even if he hits with both Kong and a rack knight, he has a stop click on Mern, so Mern would be on stop. So he wouldn't have died that turn. However, with TKs, he can easily bring up his white shirt porter and pulse wave. So I really needed him to miss at least one of his two shots on Mern in order for him to stay alive for the rest of the game. Absolutely. On that third turn, you then did something I was not expecting. Once you had filled up the Amit's Tomb, you switched into uh, Ghost Goblin for that penetrating damage plus one next to Debris. Now, what was your thought process, and what was the most important figure to maybe knock out uh, for, uh, for you? It has to be Arachnite. I have no outwits on my team, and so he has four through six senses on every attack. I... Specifically changed one thing from my grinder qualifying team to the top cut team, which I took up Absorbing Man from my sideline and put on Ghost Goblin to deal with Arachnites in that exact way. So no primes. No primes. No primes. And that change you learned over the entire weekend, right? So you, of course, uh, as you guys may know from the qualifiers to this final top 16, you are able to change your team to see what the you know the other players are, are running. Is it Poison Ivies? You obviously didn't see enough of them. So... Teams can be changed uh, throughout the week, uh, weekend. Uh, but that is incredible playing. We saw a professional in the making, the prodigy. Congrats on your win once again. And to our new uh, national champion. Congratulations, so guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Good.